गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे विल डिस्कस ई एस डब्ल्यू एल इक्वल एंड सिंगल लोड कंसेप्ट दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो यू कैन सी दिस डायग्राम फिगर टू दीज आर दी टू व्हील्स सो दीज आर दी टू द लोड विच इज एक्टिंग ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द पेवमेंट एंड दिस इज अ एंगल ऑफ स्ट्रेसेस विच इज डेवलप्ड इन साइड द पेवमेंट सर्फेस इन दर्टी फाइव डिग्री यू कैन सी अप्रॉक्सीमेटली पॉइंट ऑफ ओवरलैपिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट so whatever the stresses whatever the load which is acting on the road surface which is distributed in this way so this is p is nothing but load on each wheel so this is one wheel this is another wheel so this is a load which is acting p and this is another load which is acting on the load on another due to the another uh, another wheel so d is the uh, here clear distance between uh, the wheels this is nothing but small d is a clear distance between two wheels and Yes, is the center to center spacing between the wheels. So this is the yes. So center to center distance between the two wheels. So here the depth it becomes two into yes twice the this wheel width. It becomes the depth of this stresses. And here the where the approximate point of overlap. This is d by two. D is the clear distance between two wheel here. Half of these two wheels, stress distribution under dual wheels. So you can see a vehicle are provided with a dual wheel assembly or tandem dual wheel assembly to the rear axle. This arrangement increases the load uh, carrying capacity of vehicles. But for the design purpose, the magnitude of single wheel load is considered. Hence, a single wheel load that products the same effects in terms of stress or deflection as that of dual wheel assembly at any depth is called eswl that is called e equivalent single wheel the concept of equivalent single wheel is shown in the figure below up to the depth of d by 2 each wheel load p acts independently and after this point the stresses induced due to each load being to overlap at a depth 2s and above the stresses induced are due to the effect of both wheel as the area of overlap is considerable so the total stresses due to the dual wheel at any depth greater than 2s is considerable to be equivalent single wheel load that is eswl of magnitude of 2p two times the wheel load